Hi everyone, my name is Anais, you're very welcome here to listen to this word. Um, we all need this word, um, especially coming into 2024, even this year. But as we end this year, we need to end strong and strong in the Lord. So that is what God is saying to us at this time, is to be drawn closer to him at this time, like never before. So thank you for being here. Thank you for all your prayers, your lovely messages, lovely emails. I really appreciate it felt the prayers and I'm praying for you also and we need to cover each other in prayer so let's pray so father in Jesus name Lord we just thank you for this day Lord I just thank you for each and every person who listens Lord to these messages to your word may they increase Lord may you give them more grace Lord in time of need and strengthen them at this time almighty God may their faith rise in you Lord as they put their trust in you God and may you bless each and every single one of them God in Jesus' name and amen. So Holy Spirit, have your way. Now this is the one thing that God um, is telling us to do, is to be filled with him, be filled with Holy Spirit, to put your trust in him. You know, what seems right to a man can be death if we go the wrong way. So it's important that every choice, every decision that you make coming into next year, that you are prayerful ask wisdom advice you know someone that you know who's prayerful or someone to agree with you before you make any big decisions and choices in your life okay so we just thank god for all that he's done this year as we draw a close um to 2023 this year has gone so fast you know god has done great work in the hearts of his people and he's continuing to do so you know we talked about the crush and we talked about pain we talked about trials and god tells us to be joyful you know and he gives us that joy where you just laugh you know you just feel peace where there's turmoil where there's there's a mess okay so he is our strength he is our rock and god uses people to help us so we have to learn to be strong in him Make sure that we know the word of God, that we're in it daily, that we're listening daily, at least some point of the day, you know. So faith comes by hearing the word of God, listening to the word, looking at the word, speaking the word. So that's something that we have to do, you know, and faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So all these things that you're hearing about in 2024, you know, God says, don't be afraid. Don't be troubled. Take heart. I've overcome the world. But you just have to trust me. You have to trust God. It's very, very important. And this is the word that God gave me for today. Especially it's about faith coming into 2024. You know, and people say, how do I get faith? How do I get faith? Look at the scriptures about faith. It's just about drawing close to God. Listening to the word. Letting the word uh, dwell inside of you. Speaking the word. Standing strong. You know, and courage is not like, you know... <coughs> Faith and courage, you know, that is when you keep going. That's all I can say. That is great faith. When you keep going, when you get out of bed each day, when you keep going, even when you don't want to, that's courage and that's faith. When your legs are shaking, when you don't want to do something, when you don't feel like praising God, when you don't want to bless your enemy, but you do, that's great faith, you know, and that's courage and you're still here. So well done. And well done for what you've done this year, no matter what. And God is well pleased and God loves you. So you need to understand that. So in Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. He will direct your paths. So like I said, every choice, every decision, if you're planning a holiday, if you're planning anything, just make sure you're giving it to God. If door is shut, that's probably a good thing. Okay, so don't push things open. Don't force things um, that God doesn't want you to do. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord. Depart from evil. This is a big thing this year. God is saying, you know, most times in the midst of trials and struggles, the devil will be there to offer you things. Take this. Have this. Just have one. Just do this. That's faith and that's courage. That's strength when you say no. When all of them are going here, they're all going there. You like these people, but you say no. 
that's strength and that's courage you know many a times this year i have been tempted people saying things to you offering you things and it looks nice and it's the devil with a big smile just have one just do this no learn to say no learn to say to some people mind your own business you know, sometimes it's better to be on your own than walking with the crowd. Um, so depart from evil. Do good. Do good unto all men. We're supposed to be known for our love. Going out of our way for others. But it doesn't mean you have to be a doormat. It doesn't mean you have to allow yourself to be disrespected. Okay? So... Make sure you're strong in the Lord. Make sure you're encouraging yourself in the Lord. Make sure you're praying for 2024. Covering everything. So when you fear the Lord and when you depart from evil, it will be health to you. Health to your navel and marvel to your bones. Then it goes on saying, honour the Lord with your substance, with your first fruits, with all your increase. So shall your barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall be bursting out with new wine. This is another thing. You see, with the crushing, you know, crushing and the making of diamonds comes out sparkly, fresh oil. That is something that God is doing as well in this season. So all this pressure, heat, you know, our faith grows stronger. When we go through things and the bible tells us that you know we can be pushed and we can be pressed and we can be persecuted and all these things but we stand strong in the lord we live and we move in him he is our hope he is our savior he is our provider he is everything to us so when we honor the lord with everything that we have you know give your family give your finances give your job give your body give everything to god honor god with what he's given you and he blesses you and i've said this in a message recently that even though trials we all go through and that's what i do i tell testimonies i tell it the way it is because we need to hear the truth so when we go through things you know others can be encouraged and inspired to keep going when you hear and other people have even worse stories other people have terrible things going on in their life you know so we have to be kind to one another be there for one another um, but give everything to God make sure you're dedicated to God make sure your trust is in him no matter what and depart from evil don't listen to people who are trying to steer you away you know and what I was trying to say there was you know a lot of times and I've seen this myself and um, a lot of times when people go through the fire when they go through the heat they say oh forget this and they'll go like this or they'll take the pills or they'll go to the club or they'll sleep with this one and then they blame god and then they're in a victim mentality poor me stuck in a pit do not go into 2024 like that you can't don't if you have get your life straight set yourself in order clear all that junk out apologize to god and move on God is merciful, he's graceful, but what is coming even in this world? You know, the Bible even says people will fail for fear. They'll just be so troubled with things that they see. But yet, Jesus says, don't be. There's going to be rumours of wars. There's going to be terrible things you'll see. There's going to be horrible things that'll take place. People with gross darkness. People believe in things that are evil. People agreeing with things that are evil even in the body of Christ who can get deceived with things that are happening, unfortunately. But even if you are going a path of deception, God will stop you. So when you're prayerful, when you believe him, when you trust him, he'll always keep you on the right path. So I just hope that you understand that it's the heart of God for 2024. Stay strong in him. No matter what, keep going forward, no matter what. Even if you don't want to, keep going. That's so courageous. That's so strong. That is faith when you keep going. Okay, so don't give up. We're coming to the end. Finish strong. 
finish well, say, I'm going to do this no matter what. Forget the past. All things are new. God is doing great things. There's new oil. There's new strength. There's new grace. Take it by force. And God loves you so very much. So I just bless you with that. So Father, in Jesus' name, for those who are listening, Lord, those who are struggling, Lord, I pray for peace. I pray for more grace, Lord, strength, Lord, where they're weary, Lord. And I pray that they draw closer to you, Jesus. And you invite us to come to you, Lord. And I just pray that peace, protection over your people, eyes to see, wisdom what to do for 2024, where to go, where not to go, Lord. That they don't do anything on impulse or listen to what seems right, Lord. But that you give them discernment at this time, wisdom at this time, that they put all of their trust in you, God. I pray financial blessings upon your people, Lord. That their storehouses never runs dry in this time as people give to you, God. And that people bless others, that people pray for others, cover others in prayer. And that they don't look at themselves, that they don't listen to the lies of the enemy with the victim mentality and poor me and look at them and what about me. But that they stay strong and that they move forward, God, with the fullness of joy which is in your presence. Holy Spirit, Lord, we just thank you for your word. We just thank you for comforting us. We thank you for the angels you sent to minister to us. We thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy, God. Thank you, Jesus, that you died for us, that you rose again the third day and that you're coming back. And as we're here on this earth, may we do great things for you, God, and shine bright for you, Jesus. And may our light shine for all to see and that we love not only in word, but in deed. So, Lord, I just bless your people abundance of blessings lord great surprises god because god that is who you are you're good all the time no matter what how dare we even question you god and moan and complain we apologize for that and lord i just thank you for each and every person who is here listening god bless you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah to the lamb of god god is good his mercy endures forever praise him and thank him and get ready finish well finish well you can do this for 2024 be strong full armor so you're ready ready for anything god bless you of course i'll talk to you again soon love you all thank you